Hello everyone. In continuation with the time series analysis using Tableau, today we will see the slope chart. Earlier we saw time series analysis through sparkline charts. If you have not watched the video, click the link above to check it. If you have a time-based data that is ranked, then one way to display them is the slope chart. A slope chart ideally has two points. In the slope chart, we are interested in analyzing how the data has moved from point 0.1 to point 0.2. Examples of a slope chart can be how the housing prices have changed between like quarter 1 and quarter 3. Or let's say how the performance of a student has been like during this winter break and before and after. It is a pretty simple chart and the data we will analyze today is the different types of social media usage in the US between two different years. Let's go ahead and see the data. This is the data that we will be using. This is like uh, the social media stats in the US for uh, the three years to, from 2017 to 2019. This is given in percentage how each of the social media performed. So we will be using this data for our um, slope charts today. Here I have opened Tableau and I'm calling the data set that we just uh, saw. So if you see the data is from 2017 to 2019, it has all the different types of social media platforms and uh, what is the percentage. Uh, if you see, it is better that we have the social media as one column and the whatever the values as another column. So let's do a pivot of these values. So I just uh, select all this and then I'm going to do a pivot. Let's rename it as social media. And let's call this as value in percentages. Now let's go to the sheet. Here, uh, first thing is the data like in the numerical format. Let's first change it into a uh, disk dimension. And also let's move it into a, let's change the type into a date. So that's the first thing that we need to do. Now uh, let's call this a date into the column. So if you see, uh, if I told you earlier, the slope chart is basically for two different points. So, but here we have the data for 2017, 18 and 19. So let's just filter it only for 2017 and 2019. Let's just leave out 2018 for now. So we are just going to see the trend on uh, from 2017 to 2019 how it has moved for the social media values. So let's uh, call the social media into the text field here. And I'm going to call the values into my rows. So the moment I call the value into the rows, what happens is it just gives me a slope, uh, a slope chart. Let's go and do a ranking. So what we are trying to do is we are going to rank, which is the first uh, how from f one to whatever the number of values are. So let's do a rank and let's say this rank is based on my social media values. So I'm going to say compute using the social media. So the first set that we get, but if you see the rank here is ranked from 15 to zero, Generally, we are seeing the uh, rank from zero, I mean, from one to 15 instead of 15 to one. So let's go and edit this axis and just say reversed. The moment we say reversed, so Facebook is on the top and then we get all the values here. I think let's go ahead and uh, increase the size. So the first thing that we do, then we need to see um, here we have got this is the slope chart that we have got, but then it's like uh, we need to add more color and more information to it. So it, it makes more sense. So let's go ahead and see what all we can add. So one thing that we can add is this values. So uh, here I have the values from one to 15, but I'm just interested in the first 10 uh, social medias. So let me call uh, this into the filter. So I will pull the social media into the filter and I would say like the top 10 by the value. And I let me say apply and OK. So I get the top 10. Now um, let me go ahead and add the other fields. I need to create one more field called as the rank. So what this rank will do is what is my rank on uh, each of the sites? So it is going to say what is my rank in 2017 and what is the rank in 2019? So I'm going to create one field called as rank, which is nothing but the sum of the value. 
and then I'm going to call this rank into my color. So this will give me one and two. It's just calculating the rank of a particular social media over a point in time. So that's what this is going to do. So this is one thing I'll tell you why we require this. And then uh, the next thing we, we will add is we will need to add the sum of the values into the label because we want to show what is the rank of this particular uh, social media. Then we also need to, but this rank, if you if you remember, but this is this is a rank. So we also need to show the values. So I'm going to pull the normal um, value also into my label. So I, I can see that value also. Say for example, for Facebook, it is like 50.83 and for everything we get here we don't get the values for 2019 we just getting that for 2019 so just let me just select everything and say mark label always show so in this case i will get for both the sites how my values have been and if you see uh, facebook is still one but then it has moved from 73 percent to 50 percent so how do we show like um, this is happening so that's why we we added it into the colors so i go into the edit colors and i'm going to do a custom diverging and i will do a stepped color of just two because i just want to show the two colors and i'm going to say if it is one so it is the lowest one so if it is one then i'm going to show it as green and if it is Two, I'm going to show it as red. Let's check if it's. Yep. So it, though it is from, uh, it has moved from 73 to 50. Though it still stays in red, but overall the percent of people who are using the Facebook has reduced, or how much time they spend on Facebook has reduced. So this is the first thing that we do. Then we also need to change the grid lines, and we need to do the other kind of formatting. So we don't need this axis. So let's remove the header and uh, let's go into the format lines and then just say none so we don't see any line and then we also need to change the label format so let's go here and then let's say I want the rank as my first thing so I'm going to say rank then I'm going to give a colon and then I'm going to give what is the media name and then I'm going to give the value. Let me also increase the font size. So let me, let's make it as 10 bold. And maybe with this we can give it within basis. So that's the first thing that we can do. So this gives a better idea of how it has performed. Now uh, let's uh, also format this value. Go to format. and this is my sum and then i'm just going to do the custom number custom and i'm just going to give a sub suffix that's it so and let me also remove the high table let's call it as a slope chart middle and increase the size and maybe give it a underline i mean you can go ahead and do any kind of formatting that you want and then uh, let's also change the shading maybe let's give it like a black or something like that so it's more visible uh, maybe. change this color So this is a basic slope chart. So where we are saying like how it, it just has two points. So there might be question why can a slope chart not have more than two points or how can why if it can have multiple points. So yeah, you can go ahead and think like what, what happens if the slope chart has all the points, it just will end up like another line chart. So it's better to keep it with just two points. So what if you just want to add one more point in between to see how it has uh, performed? Say, for example, a company had performed initially badly and then it came up, it, it uh, did well and then it went bad. So this would be actually a good one to see, like because we would see what we did good in that particular year.
or if it was bad what actually we did bad and then how we improved it so this might be a lesson so uh, which can be learned for the company so that's all about the slope chart in the next video we will see another kind of these analysis thank you